Okay, so Twisted Metal just dropped their first trailer for the Peacock series coming out next month. Um, okay, and I don't want to show you the trailer. I know NBC's been pulling a bunch of those people who are streaming it and stuff, so I'll put some pictures up. There was a really good uh, interview with Anthony Mackie and Rolling Stone that you can find online, but these are some of the shots uh, that they released today before the trailer. Um my thoughts um okay well you, you gotta okay i have i have two main thoughts the first main thought well three main thoughts the first thought is that was a terrible trailer like it w wasn't funny um uh, it looked cheap it was um just kind of embarrassing in a lot of ways but I have two more thoughts. The other thought, though, is that you have to, I mean, you don't have to, but I, I think if you want to give it a fair shake, you have to extract the fact that it's not going to be the twisted metal you know. I mean, what's cool about it is, like, Agent Stone is in it, right? It's not the same Agent Stone, but, you know, they're giving a tip of the hat. Uh, you know, uh, I think... Somebody was saying uh, Mike and Stu from Twisted Metal uh, 2 are actually in the goddamn thing, which is crazy to me. Uh, it's not the same characters, but they're still bringing back, you know, I guess these guys are Mike and Stu, right? So, I mean, you know, if you can get beyond the fact, like if you can extract out your frustration, embarrassment, disappointment, annoyance that... It really is playing fast and loose with the brand. It's more like multiverse twisted metal. It's like here's a version and there are a lot of similarities, but it's not exact. And, and, and I certainly knew that going in and I can do that watching it. I think seeing it play out this way uh, and being tonally so unique from the games um, is, you know, I, I don't know how much of that is. Uh, uh, why I'm looking at it and going, I didn't love the trailer, right? So I, I need to kind of watch it again with fresh eyes and go, is that what's going on to some extent? I'm, oh, I'm sure to some extent it is, but is that what's going on in a meaningful way? Um, the third thing I'll say, though, is I'm still excited. And, and I'm excited because end of the day, it's not about... I mean, it might be if you wanted to tune in and watch a Twisted Metal series that you know, takes the lore more to, 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 to its heart. Uh, I did read the Anthony Mackie Rolling Stone interview and I, I found it kind of funny slash annoying where he's like, well, you know, Twisted Metal, we had all this freedom because there's really no story there. And I'm like, well, there's a lot of, st I'm not saying I agree. I talked to these guys years ago. I agreed with him. The goal couldn't, you couldn't make a great show out of just like every episode is ripping off, you know, fight and get a prize from Calypso, and then the next week somebody else fights. I mean, I, I get this was a hard, you know, uh, uh, cat to skin. So, but I was like, well, Anthony Mackie, come on now. That's not totally accurate, but what it doesn't matter. But what I will say, though, I'm still excited to watch this because of the people who are making it. I think Cobra Kai, look, you guys may not know this, Cobra Kai started uh, season one as a YouTube Red, which was kind of like they were trying to do a premium and show and it was the best show they launched with and it eventually went on to Netflix and became more than a cold hit. It's fucking phenomenal. Um, you know, I never saw the f show originally because I think the original trailers were um, stupid. You know, like, what are you doing? This is dumb, right? The fact, my point being is that the people making the show are the people who make Cobra Kai and who make Deadpool and who make Zombieland. And in that, um, and to be fair, PlayStation Productions themselves have started to earn some good credit in the bank with me because I don't, you know, Uncharted wasn't the next Raiders of Lost Ark, but it was a solid, fun movie. Uh, obviously, The Last of Us is great. Um, and Gran Turismo, uh, you know, which is staggering because it sounds like such a dumb idea for a movie. The trailer looks great so far. Um, so I, I have faith in the people that are making it. And I don't necessarily expect or care or assume anybody out there who's not engaged with this or who knows who's making it. I could see a lot of people watching the trailer and going, wow, that was pretty bad. 
Like it wasn't, it's not even that I, I had a problem with the tone. Like I, you know, you're going to get Will Arnett. You're going to get the funny. It just wasn't funny. Um, I hate to say it. Well, like, what do I know? It's subjective, of course. Maybe, you know, I love Will Arnett and I, you know, love Bojack and all that, but in Batman, but I didn't think um, it was very funny. And I certainly don't think the banger going out with like, oh, you have trust issues. Ha ha. It's like, that's you're going to you're going to go out with that. Um, I, you know, it kind of just feels like if you're going to be cheap looking and if you're going to be, you know, clearly going off script, you want to make sure that you're doing it. I would assume in a way where it's like, OK, this is different. But wow, that was pretty fucking funny. Um, and again, humor subjective, but I didn't find it funny. I found it um, simply not that. Uh, and then, it, you know, look, it's going to look cheap because it is cheap in terms of inexpensive. I don't mean it's a cheap, shitty show, but I mean, it, they didn't they don't have the money that, you know, HBO spent more money on the pilot for The Last of Us than any other pilot they've ever done. Right. That's not this like these guys right here. I mean, they, they kind of look I mean, they, they, you know, in a lot of ways, if you love Twisted Metal, you love the Twisted Metal one movies. I mean, the, 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 this little shot here, the way it's lit and everything, it almost looks like a shot out of the TM1 movies uh, where uh, I think it was the roadkill car where he goes back in time to Vietnam. Um, that's, you know, or, or, the, or, or the one where uh, Apocalypse 9 goes into that person's house and starts abusing the people in the house. It kind of has that same level of, uh, of, of quality you know, in terms of just the way this shot looks, it's not a very, it's not a very nice looking shot. Uh, but whatever, you know, it's twisted metal. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to enjoy it. Whether I watch it high as a fucking kite and laugh with it and at it, or whether I genuinely come to it and, and love it because of the vision, I'm hoping it's the latter. And there's nothing I've seen in this trailer that makes me feel the vision is not going to be executed simply because I know the people who are making it. And I know, and I love what they've done across the board from the executive suite at Sony all the way uh, or especially to the folks behind the camera actually making the creative choices and writing the script. So I'm just as in as I ever was. Um, and I will be honest with you, if the show comes out and it's a turkey for me, I'll tell you. But right now, I again, my reaction is I have to extract the fact that it's whiplash because it's so different in tone, uh, which I knew it was going to be, but I didn't know it was going to be this different. Um, but that's fine. I mean, that, that, that happens and there's no problem there. Um, but I also struggle with the fact that what they did offer up, like even the fighting, like when he, when Sweet Tooth takes Mackie's head and slams it against the, uh, uh, there's a scene where he slams it in Vegas against like a slot machine and it cracks. And I'm like, was that whole thing CG? Like was, was, was the actual, uh, slot machine not real? Uh, or did they want a close up and Mackie wasn't willing to sort of go in fast and hard and they didn't want to use a stuntman. But it looks like Samoa Joe, who plays Sweet Tooth, is like grabbing him and shoving him really fast. And then obviously right before his face hits, it's like it slows down to nothing. And it's like, let me place your face here. But then the cracks appear in the in the uh, uh, the machine. So in the on the slot machine. So, I mean, uh, you know, it's interesting, but I, I really didn't think it was funny and that's unfortunate i i did think the teaser they released had a little bit more of a fun vibe but when they're doing the thong song i'm not opposed to the idea but it's like it's you know it's not that funny or oh aren't you a tall drink of water or something I'm like what is this nothing you, you give me something you know if you're going to take away his hair and you're going to take away him being a fucking murderous serial killer uh inspired by jason and freddie and hannibal lecter and you're going to make him funny awesome but make them fucking funny but again it's one scene but again that's the scene they chose to introduce it to the world but again i didn't think the first cobra kai trailer was great and that's one of my favorite shows of all time including the later seasons which people say oh my god it went crazy i love that it went crazy when they're fucking fighting in the school and in daniel son's home and they bring chosen over and shit and it's just like you know it's so dumb, but in a wonderfully entertaining way uh, that it's like, all you know, the whole town is into karate all the time. It's just so stupid, but it's really underneath that. It is well written. It is heartfelt. You love the characters. It is a great piece of entertainment. I expect I still expect the same for this, but I will say that was not. If you don't have all those little caveats and you're just a twisted metal fan, 
I, I could see people going, wow, that did not look good. Um, but hopefully they'll make you a believer when you actually see the product. If you're not, if you don't know what the fuck Twisted Metal is, I would be very curious. Now, I know this was probably a trailer cut specifically for the Game Awards. This is not what they're going to put out. Uh, in other places, they drop trailers. But if you're not a Twisted Metal fan or you don't know what it is, I can't fathom that this trailer would make you go, hey, that's the shit, man. Uh, you'd go, what was that I just watched? That's what I think. But if you're watching this video and you've never really played Twisted Metal, you let me know. I'll put a link because I can't show it on this video. But I'll put a link to the trailer down below and uh, tell me what you think. Regardless, we are in naughty three week month, whatever it is. Lots of news coming out. Uh, we'll be doing a reaction show to Keeley's uh, show later tonight. And then, of course, we'll be watching Devolver. I've got my dope right here. Uh, yes, I do, because that's a show to watch when you're high as a fucking kite. Be well, everybody. Happy 93. See you soon.